648 right now, time for the morning rush. A former Albuquerque police officer is facing charges accused of using excessive force against a disabled man. Last August, the man was seemingly trying to buy a bike at the Target on Coors. Video shows then APD officer Kenneth Skeens grabbing the man by the arms and then taking him outside. He is then heard telling the man that he is criminally trespassing and can't come back into the business. Skeens is now charged with false imprisonment, filing a false police report, perjury and battery. A Texaco mother is sentenced to spend the next 15 years in prison after pleading guilty to abusing children in her care. Jamie Cushman pleaded guilty to five counts of child abuse. State police and CYFD investigators say that Cushman was beating and starving as many as six kids in the home and even chained an 11-year-old to a bed. Well, the owner and the manager of an Albuquerque motel are facing two decades behind bars after admitting to letting it turn into a drug den. The feds rated the best choice in on central near Louisiana in 2019. Inside the rooms, investigators found large amounts of drugs along with human trafficking survivors. Owner Pragnesh Kumar Patel and manager Kamal Bula they have agreed to plead guilty to the charge of maintaining a drug involved premises along with aiding and abetting. Zoe. We're looking at another very hot afternoon ahead of us. Some places across the state may be seeing the warmest heat of the entire year so far arriving, but by late tonight, a backdoor cold front will also arrive. That will cool down temperatures a bit across the north, but also bring the potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms. An Albuquerque dispensary is now the first in New Mexico to have its license revoked. That comes after findings of selling cannabis from California. Paradise Distro was ordered to cease operations a couple of weeks ago after state regulators found the store was selling out-of-state cannabis and sold products without expiration dates. The state has notified the law enforcement now for a possible criminal investigation. Impacts of the Hollywood shutdown could soon be felt here in New Mexico. The Screen Actors Guild is joining the Writers Guild in an ongoing strike over AI concerns as well as pay and benefits. The actors say that even if a deal is struck, they are willing to hold out until the writers also see raises. In New Mexico, there are more than 1,100 members in the Actors Guild. When they stop acting, it will impact about 18 major projects here. New Mexico's veterans may soon be re receiving a more fitting burial. Senators Martin Heinrich and Ben Ray Lujan introduced the New Mexico Veteran Burial Dignity and Honor Act. Well, that would repeal a provision allowing flat gravestones for veterans at the Santa Fe National Cemetery. If passed, the flat stones would then be replaced with upright stones over the next five years. Zoe. And our Metro Threat Index for today is at a five, mainly because of the very dangerous heat, most likely here in the Albuquerque Metro, seeing the warmest temperatures of the entire year arriving today. But in far northeastern New Mexico, also the chance for some strong to severe thunderstorms. Windrock Town Center is now looking to bring some entertainment to Albuquerque residents. The owners have announced that the Hyenas Comedy Nightclub is coming to that shopping center in the Duke City. The Texas-based club is known for hosting some of the biggest names in comedy. Construction on the club is set to begin this fall. A paid summer mentor and internship program is now helping teens in the metro learn more about different careers that they can have in the art industry. The Mayor's Creative Youth Corps Summer Mentorship and Internship Program was created to help students who are interested in pursuing a career in the arts. Organizers of the program say that their goal for the next year is to work with more art organizations throughout the city. Well, the Secret Service says that it's closed its investigation into the bag of cocaine that was found in a White House work area earlier this month. The baggie containing roughly 0.2 grams of the drug was found on July the 2nd, just inside the guest entryway to the West Wing in a cubby used by visitors to store cell phones. That just steps away from the Situation Room. Now, after 10 days, the Secret Service says it was unable to identify whose cocaine it was and how it even got in the White House. Zoe. Now let's get a look at that morning drive. Things are moving nice and smoothly early on your Friday morning commute. There may be a little bit of a slowdown in cores, but other than that, it is a very nice start to your day. Tracker is headed east on I-40 near Carlisle, a smooth Friday morning commute. Well, some athletes in California will have an entire week to show off their talents. Those competitors are playing in an international street style soccer tournament. That's in Sacramento as they're taking part in the Homeless World Cup. Organizers say that the Cup's mission is to help the players improve their lives and even change how people see homelessness, as every one of the players has experienced homelessness in the past two years. 
Time now for the five facts. At number five, Winrock Town Center is looking to bring some new entertainment for Albuquerque residents. Town Center owners have announced that Hyenas Comedy Nightclub is coming to Albuquerque. The Texas-based club is known for hosting some of the biggest names in comedy, and now they hope to do that in Albuquerque. The Comedy Club will be next to the Tricor Winrock Labs and Presbyterian Medical Group Clinic. Construction on the club is slated to begin this fall. At number four, an Albuquerque dispensary is now the first in New Mexico to have its license revoked. This comes after it was caught selling cannabis from California. Paradise Distro was ordered to cease operations a couple of weeks ago. That was after state regulators found that the store was selling out-of-state cannabis and even sold products without expiration dates, under-reported sales, and even had problems with its inventory documentation. The state has now notified law enforcement for a possible criminal investigation. And at number three, the heat is on once again today. Very hot temperatures, potentially the warmest that we have felt so far this year before a backdoor cold front arrives to the northeast and brings them the chance for some strong to severe thunderstorms. And number two, impacts of the Hollywood strike could soon be felt here in New Mexico. The Screen Actors Guild is joining the Writers Guild in an ongoing strike over AI concerns as well as pay and benefits. Now in New Mexico, there are more than 1,100 members in the Actors Guild. So when they stop acting, it will impact about 18 major projects. In a statement from the state's film office, they tell us that the impact of the state's economy won't be seen until later down the road, but they're confident that when, they, when the work does return, now it will attract then productions to the state at record levels. And at number one, a former Albuquerque police officer is facing charges accused of using excessive force against a disabled man. The man who the attorney general identifies as having disabilities was seemingly trying to buy a bike at the Target on Coors last August. It's when three APD officers approached him. Video shows then APD officer Kenneth Skeens grabbing the man by the arms and then taking him outside. He is then heard telling the man that he is criminally trespassing and can't come back into the business. Skeens is now charged with false imprisonment, filing a false police report, perjury and battery.